Hello class, I will be reviewing the book Transitions, Making Sense of Life's Changes by William Bridges. First, I want to talk about the author for a little bit. William Bridges was born in 1933. Um, he became a professor of English until 1974. From there, he shifted to the field of transition management in the mid-1970s and until his death in 2013. And since its publication, his book Transitions has sold over half a million copies. Let's begin by giving the difference between change and transitions. Change is situational and happens without people transitioning. This is the faster of the two and usually occurs whether you want it to or not. Transition, on the other hand, occurs in the mind and is a three-phase process where people gradually accept the details of the new situation and the changes that come with it. This process can be lengthy and in some cases painful, but it's absolutely necessary. According to Bridges, every transition begins with an ending. One example of this transition is the change that new parents go through after having their first child. Although they're eager to enjoy parenthood, they first have to come to terms with the ending of their old, less restricted lives and deal with the loss of time and freedom that accompany a newborn baby. But I mean, come on, how can you not love that face? Now let's look at the stages of transitions, which are the ending stage, the neutral zone, and the stage of new beginnings. First is the ending stage, in which you choose or are forced to let go of the old. This stage can result in a loss of self-identity, where we don't quite know who we are anymore. Our motivations are gone now, and we may realize that how we saw the world isn't a very good reflection of reality after all. This stage may be the most shocking, however it does present a unique opportunity, as it flattens the ground for new beginnings and a fresh way of seeing the world. The second stage when transitioning is the neutral zone. After the shock of an ending, this stage can feel very uncomfortable. You may even feel like giving up or running away altogether. However, this stage can be the most valuable stage of transitioning because since you've let go of the old, you are now ready to explore new ways of doing things. Bridges has a few suggestions for being able to cope with this time. First, make sure that you find time to be alone. Welcome the emptiness. Go somewhere with few distractions where you can simply exist. This may not result in great revelations, but the point is to pay attention to your thoughts. Second, keep a diary or log of your neutral zone experiences. Give yourself the chance to reevaluate your life story. Finally, try to discover what you want and what your purpose for living may be. Ask yourself the question, if your life ended today, what do you feel that you should have done by now? The final stage is the stage of new beginnings. This stage may come without warning, and you may not even realize it's occurred until you look back and see all that's happened. When you're finally ready to move on, opportunities will show themselves. But make sure that you're easy on yourself and maintain at least some semblance of your old life. And don't be too disheartened if things don't move as quickly as you want. Just keep in mind all the new insights you discovered during the neutral zone. And as you manage your new beginnings, remember to be consistent, ensure quick successes, symbolize new identity, and celebrate success. In a work environment, change and transitions may become difficult. For instance, within an organization, the ultimate aim is progress, and a large part of progress is change, which requires people tra to transition. And it's this transition that people tend to resist. Now, some ways that managers can um, help to ease the frustrations of making these transitions are to um, communicate individual behavioral change. Um, they can identify and understand who will lose what. They can talk to employees and ask what problems they have with the change. Um, they can hold regular team meetings even before the change occurs and um, just kind of let the employees know that it's human to feel and that it's okay. This book was very informative and interesting, and I would recommend it to anybody who has gone through or is currently going through any type of change in their lives. Um, my favorite quote in the book is that every transition begins with an ending, but I believe that the results in the end do make the process worth it all.
My name is Kayla Berry and I hope that you enjoyed this presentation and that it was informative and I hope that this has inspired you to pick up a copy of William Bridges book Transitions, Making Sense of Life's Changes.